Do you mind if I say a few things? No, I would love you to, please. Okay, um, first of all, I'm really sorry for all the short notice with all of this stuff. But, um, thank you for everyone for, you know, being here for the start of this expedition. It does mean a lot to me that all of you have managed to get involved with all this. And I do want to take the time to say that, not just to treat this as an expedition, but as a chance to remember a great dad and a great commander, whom unfortunately died because of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, whom I know would have loved to have been here to be able to see all the work and the commanders that have pulled together. I don't want any of you to feel rushed to make the full trip of this expedition, as long as we remember Commander Brutal Deluxe and see some of the sites that he first discovered, because that alone I am really grateful for, and I know he would be too. And thank you to everyone for being here, and I'm certain this will be an amazing expedition in his honour.
not cease from exploration, and the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. began to pour light out into the surrounding darkness. No witness could have known that billions of years later, some remote clumps of rock and metal, ice and organic molecules, would fall together to make a place called Earth. Or that life would arise and thinking beings evolve who would one day capture a little of that galactic light and try to puzzle out what had sent it on its way. could line up, I'll try and get a really nice shot of it all. Uh, I'm a bit out of the way. <laughs> I don't know where the hell I am, I'm just sort of here. <laughs> Please hold, Elite's taking five years to plot a wonder. <laughs> Side crew, jump. Yep. Jumping. Soon. 
Oh sevens in chat, guys. Oh wait. Oh, that's a lot. Rock and roll. Couple throttle on the way <laughs> on the way out. Don't face plant into the star. That would be the worst <laughs> time to do that. <laughs> no, not like that. That's how I roll. Hmm. Oh, Thank wow. you, Jam, for it. Don't disconnect me, game. I swear. <laughs> I think. I think <laughs> the server is just get down. Oh, sorry, though. I think we broke the elite server, guys. Yeah. But I just got dropped in the same system. Oh, there we go. Come in. I, I want to start by saying to all of you, thank you. You know, I don't know how else to uh, say that by completing this expedition, what it means to me, and how grateful I am for all of you that have taken part. Especially if I was short notice, a lot of you arrived, yet still managed to pull together an amazing, amazing expedition in memory of Commander Poodle Deluxe. I know a lot of you did not know Commander Poodle Deluxe, but yet still have accepted him as a great commander, and I can tell you all from my heart, he was also a great dad. Even when he was going through his darkest times when he was still with us, he still put others before himself and was always thinking about making sure everyone else was still happy. I know that although he is gone, and I'll no longer be able to talk to him, play Elite Dangerous for him or see him again. I know that through what has been created here on this expedition, and the worlds that he has discovered, that Commander Brutal Deluxe's name will never leave our hearts, and he will fool all of us, and how the skin was immortalised his name, that Commander Brutal Deluxe will always be remembered. Thank you all for taking part. I know you would have been grateful to have seen this. You have all been amazing. 07 Commander, you're with the stars now. So I would like to say that I was, well, I was, I was honoured that you asked me to take part and help in organising this, and I think I could say say the same for DJ for his involvement that he's had as well, and uh, also for Dark Insanity as well. Absolutely. And, uh, I believe you've got uh, some things you'd like to say, Dark Insanity. I have. Um, it's mostly a list of thanks, so I'm going to go right out to that. Uh, list of people who have been streaming this over the last few days, spreading the word, etc. Um, Astrocat, right tag, has been streaming it from Xbox. He hasn't actually finished the expedition yet. Um, he's the only person streaming it from Xbox, so he is, wasn't obviously able to be here. Uh, Conflict, um, ZZZ, um, EFSF Raven, uh, Wayne, Frank Den Tank, DJ, up until IRL intervened, me as well, I suppose. Hi. Um, pretty much also uh, lost the page, excuse me. Um, the final EDSM summary. Um, so far, um, according to it, at least 138,000 light years have been travelled, almost 7,000 jumps. Um, out of those, at least two have uploaded to EDSM um, Alcatraz, me, Wayne. Slice4815, Isomer, Pale, Ringo, uh, ah, Pale Ringo was streaming it as well, so I know I could get someone. No, I said Pale. Anyway, um, Kai, Tenakaken, Dundalittle, um, Conflict again, <laughs> Riven, um, Kunda, um, Enrico, Elv, um, Alexi, 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 see? Um, Kobe, um, few others here who haven't updated logs or anything but um you guys are all awesome um there's been a flight log thing for some stories effectively um for example myself blowing up nine jumps from colonia waypoint four and having to jump all the way back again um kobe um they just started a little bit late and then kobe was part of the um rising star wing which i think who was in, who else was in rising star uh, star side or rising star? Uh, rising star, Kobe's wing, Kobe's Kobe Sink's wing. Uh, star side. That was uh, oh, star side. Myself, Iso, Tanaka, and Kobe. Cool. Yes. The I think it was two lost ships between four of you, or was you know one of you <laughs> twice. Um, various interactions with neutron stars. 
and all sorts of what could be called technical troubles, and yet you were still all ready to get to Waypoint 8 on Friday evening. Like, 48 hours to get there and back again. Um, the Iridium Wing, who also came along for a send-off right at the beginning. Um, and, yeah, all of the, the stuff they did at the beginning. Um, and Kai, who almost arbitrarily on noticing thought, I should do that. Um, and has been um, flown out and flown back again from Steel Providence. Um, a couple of other people... Oh, um, I know who I'm thinking of. Um, Obsidian Ant, because he put it in the video he released on Wednesday. Um, I've probably forgotten someone, for which I heartily apologise. But um, anyone else who did anything anywhere... Yeah. Thanks. I think each and every one of us can give ourselves a pat on the back and say job well done. And I think Alki's dad would have been proud. And I think Alki's proud. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you as well for joining us. And uh, yeah. I wrote some of this, but it does not mean it's just me. This was from everyone. Um, Alki, uh, in a moment, uh, you'll be allowed, I guess you could say, to go to the No Alki channel. Um, and you can read this for yourself, however I've been asked to uh, read it to you, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so please bear with me, I didn't really get much time to practice or anything like that, so if it's a little stuttery, I apologize. Regardless. Um, Alki. I'm writing this and sending it to you, not for my own benefit, but because in the coming days and weeks after this expedition, I want you to be able to look back at what you've put together in memory of your father and know what I'm about to say is true. Many of us can empathize with losing someone. Many of us have over the years. However, no one can truly know what the hole left in someone's heart looks like when they lose someone important to them. And we don't pretend to. The loss of someone so close is devastating, it's hard to deal with, and that feeling of loss never really goes away. But it does get better over time, slowly. And I wish you well on your journey through this. However, what I absolutely need to say to you is as follows. Look around you. The memory of your father brought people together that likely never would have met otherwise. We've all forged new wingmates and above all, new friendships. And I absolutely need you to know, you did good. Because of your father and the work you've put in, I've met so many amazing people from all across the world. I can only speak for myself, but this has brought me closer to the community and I will presumptively say that it's brought many others closer as well. Again, I speak presumptively, but I believe that there can be no better way to honor someone as to forge new bonds in that person's memory. So I wanna thank you, Alki for putting this together, for sticking through it, for sharing this piece of your soul, and I hope we can honor it going forward. We're a small group in the grand scheme of things, but the Starside crew and everyone who signed this will always fly by your side. And if you need anything, a wingmate to get you through the day, someone to listen, or anything else, we'll all be there as much as we can. So thank you for all that you've done. And I can't think of a better way to send off Commander Brutal Deluxe.